What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of a Need for Speed Payback. Today I am very excited because we are going to get back on that derelict grind, baby. It's going to be awesome. We are in search of an old school Chevy pickup truck, which uh, should be interesting. So if we take a look at our derelicts here, this is what we're after. This 1965 C10 pickup. I'm kind of excited about it. Little, uh, little old school throwback here. And we actually already have the chassis as well as two of the four parts that we need for this setup. So if you guys are trying to build this thing while you're watching this video, I'll show you guys where we got the stuff that we already have from playing through the game earlier. So the chassis was right over here. It was kind of like just off of this road, like right, right here, right where the marker is. The first set of parts that we found was right up here. It's kind of in the corner in between these two roads up north. And then the second set of parts we found was over here south of the uh, the solar field. It was kind of like right in here. So that's everything we have so far. Once you get those three pieces, you're gonna be caught up with us. And the next thing we're gonna be looking for is this right here. So it's kind of a squiggly road and then it's got this other squiggly road with some, some figure eights in there. All right. That kind of looks like it's gotta be up at the top left, right? So it's gotta be, we're looking for squiggly roads. Seeing lots of squiggly roads. I don't see any figure eights though. That's, no, that's not it. Um, I, I don't think it's in there. It's not gonna be in there. Ah, figure eight right here. That's exactly what we're looking for, yes. Okay, so if we follow this back, we've got the two big dips, and then we've got another dip, and then we've got this dip. I think it's this one right here. I think it's right on that marker. So we're gonna set a waypoint for that. We're gonna fast travel to this gas station and let's see what we got, baby. This should be good. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this derelict today is um, you guys know how in the last, the last episode I was talking about how I wanted to start checking out the multiplayer races and including that in this series. Now, unfortunately, it's not gonna work like I originally planned. So I was thinking that we could keep doing episodes like we've been doing trying out the different cars every episode, and then instead of doing um, kind of like offline races, the, the AI races, we could do online races. I don't think it lets you do just like a singular race or a group of races with a certain car. What you have to do is a, a speed list. So it's like a five race tournament, and you choose a race spec car and then also an off-road spec car. And that's what you use. It gives you random races. Sometimes you race on road, sometimes you race off road, that sort of thing. So I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I'm looking forward to it. But the thing is, is we don't have any off road cars. I mean, we have this X6 right here. This thing's pretty good. But everything else in terms of off road for us is pretty weak. So I'd like to grab some more off road cars and maybe be able to, uh, to set up some multiplayer soon. But as for like normal episodes, I'm gonna keep doing what we've been doing. Like I, I wanna try out a new car every episode. I wanna I wanna check everything out, customize it, that sort of thing. But we're definitely gonna add in some multiplayer as well. I think that'd be fun. Okay, so I could have sworn it was gonna be here. Could it be down here a little bit? Typically we're looking for some sort of a jump or something. There's a lot of aha. That's what I'm looking for. Where's the jump to it though? There's gotta be a jump up there. You figured it's over here, yep. We found it boys. Let's go. Oh, overshot, 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 overshot. Oh my gosh. I was thinking about using nitrous just to make sure we could make the jump. We didn't use nitrous, but think if we would have. We would have flown off the freaking mat. Okay. Got to slow it down a bit here. Now this, this X6 is a really good off-roader. Don't get me wrong. I would just like a few more in our repertoire to be able to be able to mix it up. All right. So we got it. We're inside a rock right now. That's not a good sign. Um, let's go ahead and go to our derelicts here. Our last part is gonna be here. I feel like I just saw that. It's got like a little dragon's mouth. I feel like that was down here. Let's 
Why do I feel like it might be over here? Okay, this one's actually kind of hard to find. Oh, it's right here. I knew I had seen it. I knew I had just seen it. So we're gonna be going over here. Or it looks like it's more in, in this area. And um, what do we think the fastest way there is? I don't think there's really gonna be a fast way there, but I think this garage might be the best. All right, boys. Here we go. We need this this final part, the second part of the episode, and uh, we're gonna be able to build this thing, and we're gonna make it a super build, which is very, very exciting. That's the good thing is these super builds, you can get up to very, very high levels. It's kind of hard to find good off-road cars in this game. There aren't many options for off-roading cars. It really, like, it, it, the amount of race cars that we have, take that and, and multiply it by half, and that's how many off-road cars are available. So, I think this will be good for us. Gonna have a, a new option. I kind of want to make the Bel Air an off-road car as well. I remember racing the off-road Bel Air in a few races during the campaign, and it was dude, that thing was nasty. All right. I am not trying to drift this in an off-road BMW. I'm sorry, game. I will take a pass on that. <laughs> this thing drifts like a sack of bricks, sack of potatoes. Really far up here. Hmm. I don't think I've ever been up in this area, dude. I really don't. I see the part. We cannot simply drive to it. No wonder I never found this part in the campaign. Why would you ever be around this area? I think we have to go up and around and then come back down. I think there's going to be a jump back down. Jeez. I think you could just go off right here. Nice. Give me it. Woo! I thought we overshot it again. And then I thought we overshot it a second time. Let's go, boys. That is the C10 pickup. All good to go. Let's head back to the garage and restore this derelict. I'm excited, baby. It's going to be a big, boxy pickup truck. It's not really that big. It's like the singular cab, but I think it's going to be a cool off-roading vehicle. Especially if we could get this thing up pretty high in terms of its level. So we'll see what we can do. All right. I'm going to go over here. We're gonna grab this. We are most definitely gonna be making it an off-road build over here. Restores stores an off-road build. Use your new car. Yes, please. Holy cow. All right, boys. 175 horsepower, 101 top speed, and a 10 and a half second zero to 60. Are you ready for this abysmal performance? Because this is actually gonna be really, really bad. We're gonna take this to a tune-up shop. We're gonna spend a bunch of speed points so we could completely rank this thing up and, and kind of max it out a little bit. I'm, my goal is to get it up near 400. But the best part is once we get to 300, we're gonna make it a super build, so we're gonna be able to actually really trick this thing out. I just feel like I'm, I'm taking my fruits to market in this truck, dude. I think this is gonna be awesome to take this online and just school people with it. This is going to be one of my favorite builds. All right, guys. I'm going to head over to a tune-up shop. We've got a lot of work to do. I'll see you guys in a minute. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Here we go. Welcome to our level 399 Chevy C10 pickup truck. This thing is so ridiculous. Our 0-60 to 60 is somewhere around 2 seconds, which is just... I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about that. So we're going to head back to the garage here. We're going to check out exactly where our stats are standing in terms of our specs. And then uh, we're going to turn this thing into a super build, which is going to be awesome. So uh, give it a second here. As soon as we get in, we should be able to see these stats. 
We've got 1,257 horsepower, 225 mile an hour top speed, zero to 60 in two seconds, and a quarter mile under nine seconds in a 1965 pickup truck. That, that is so ridiculous, dude. All right, here we go, boys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we are gonna go up top here. We're gonna go to a super build and we're gonna go ahead and choose that super build. That thing looks so nasty, bro. Oh my goodness. All right, so we've got that. Now I'm gonna say, let's check out what the community has for wraps. I wanna see, I wanna see what people have made. Ooh, we've got the purple flames here, which is kind of cool. Americana. Oh, we've got the black with the red flames. Was it this on an old school GTA car? I'm pretty sure it was. I think we might have to go with that. I don't even have to see anything else. We've got kind of like a Dukes of Hazard looking one. Red Bull one wouldn't be bad. Army Green wouldn't be bad. I'm gonna go for the flames though. I think we have to go for the flames. That just looks amazing. It's even got like a gradient to it too. It starts off yellow and goes to orange and then red. That looks so good, dude. All right, so we've got that. Now it's gonna be time to customize this thing up. For the hood, we've got kind of like the, the two-piece Chevy in the middle. We've got that, and then we've got this. I think I'm gonna go with this. That looks pretty good. Grill. What do you guys think here? I kind of like the stock one. Bumper, can we get something a little crazier? I kind of like the stock one. I kind of like this final one over here. I kind of like this one. I feel like we've got to go big and beefy. I'm going to put some more lights on there. More lights, the better. Oh, we can't even go in with any splitters now. That's okay. I'm going to go with those. Front fenders. Ooh, bro, that's pretty dope right there. Or do we like the wide body option better? I kind of like the wide body. I kind of like that too. I kind of like that. I like the rounded wide body. Uh, I don't know the... I'm gonna go with that. That looks good to me. All right, tail lights. I'm gonna go with these. Mix it up a little bit. Rear bumper. We wanna change this up a bit. Um, that doesn't look bad. Very industrial looking. We can put a diffuser on there if we want. I'm not gonna go with the diffuser. I think that looks kind of stupid. I like the one that runs the entire length of the car there for the exhaust. Trunk lid. Ventilated, why not? And then spoiler. <laughs> what? I think I'm gonna go with this. All right, that works for me. Sound system, not gonna change anything there. Wheels, I like the wheels just the way they are. I don't think they need anything. We could change up the tires if we wanted, but I feel like those are just, those are just really, really good looking off-road wheels. Change up the mirrors if we want. How about we go no mirrors? That works for me. Oh, oh no, that is a mirror, okay. I don't want those then. I'm going to say, let's just keep it like that. Yeah, we'll keep them there. Cool. Looks good, boys. I don't think I'm going to tint it. Roof light bar. We've got a couple options here. I like the big fat one. Roof. Just have that option and then the super build option. Dude, I'm actually very, very happy with how this thing turned out. I think this thing looks pretty sick. Oh my goodness. And I'm even more happy with how it actually performs. This thing is, is nuts. This is, this is gonna be a cool off-road car to use. I can't wait to get online and race people on this thing. An old school truck. Bro, this is so badass. It even has all the lights on. 
the the roof lights as well as the the front bumper lights dude that is so <laughs> That is so sick. All right, I'm gonna choose an off-road race real quick here. I'm gonna find the first one that we can do. Airfield Showdown, let's go do it. And we're gonna see what this thing can offer. Max level off-road vehicle in this game, our best vehicle yet. Let's go ahead and hit this jump first. Woo! Holy cow, dude. Alright, setting new records, no big deal. Let's see what we can do, baby. Oh my goodness, this thing looks so sick, dude. I'm really excited about this. I think this is gonna be awesome. Ooh, we've got a Bel Air right there. That's another off-roader I was thinking about doing. Oh, and we've actually got a, a bug as well up there. The bug's in first place. I have heard that the VW Beetle is point blank one of the best cars in the game. Whether you're using it for off-road, for drag, there's so many options, and apparently it's it's one of the best options for all of them. So we, we're gonna have to probably check out that derelict next. We've got the Beetle and uh, two others left. We've got the Bel Air, and then there's one other one. So we'll, or no! I think, no, I think that's. I think they're only five. I think we, because we already got the Mustang, we got the Datsun, and we got the C10 now. So yeah, there are only a couple more. There's the Beetle and the the Bel Air, both of which are supposed to be very good. Bel Air is supposed to be solid at off roading, so I might want to check that one out. But I kind of want to check the Beetle out in drag. I think drag would be fun. I don't know. We'll see. Dude, this thing is straight mopping the floor. Actually, the Beetle's right behind us. I do remember this being a very competitive race, though. It, it always kept the opposing drivers very close, so. I don't know how much of a, a judge that can be. Nice job. I can't wait to use this thing online, dude. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I really think we're going to kill it in an old school pickup. It's going to be so satisfying. All these guys with their new school cars out here, and we're just going to be killing it old style. All right, boys. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Like I said, online multiplayer is going to be coming soon, but we still have a ton of other cars to check out, too. And I kind of want to get a nice little garage going, so we have a lot of options to choose from. So, thank you guys so much. Let me know which vehicle you guys want to see next down in the comments. Drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed, and I am going to catch you guys later. Peace out.